after looking at remains from the body in a, found in a uh, Benton County cold case 43 years ago, Fowler farmers found a body in a cardboard box in a field. News 18's Micah Upshaw shows us how investigators hope to get it solved. What happened in Fowler on October 8, 1976, has led the Benton County Coroner's Office into a 43-year-long investigation. The farmer was uh, opening up his field. Uh, it was a corn field. He was opening it up, discovered the box, uh, loaded it up into his truck, and took it back to his residence where he opened it up and discovered the body of the female. The woman had one gunshot wound to the head. The coroner determined the body belonged to a 60 to 65 year old white woman standing at about five foot two. She had a radical right side mastectomy which investigators used as a lead. They thought might uh, assist in identification of her and throughout the years they had no luck in and they've worked extremely hard to try to identify her. After several years, several lead follow-ups, and several miles traveled, investigators decided to close the case until now. I got an email from a company that works with uh, law enforcement, medical examiners, and coroners throughout the United States called NamUs, and um, they were inquiring about our Jane Doe 1976 case to see if we had ever identified her. Current Benton County Coroner Matt Rosenbarger teamed up with Indianapolis Human Identification Laboratory to dig up the woman's remains at Sacred Heart Cemetery. This is where the body was buried 43 years ago. It took eight hours to dig up and what they found was a body bag and bones. As forensic science has um, elaborated a little bit better, um, we're hoping that we'll get a better idea, not only uh, of a race and a potential age range, but you know, the areas of the country where she might have been. In Benton County, Micah Upshaw, News 18. And you can help fund their research by donating to the Benton County Auditor Jane Doe Fund. That information can be found on our website at WLFI.com.